Hey everybody, my name is Steven, and today I'm going to show you how I make Jurassic Park style amber fossils. I got a lot of requests on my original video for an explanation of what I'm doing during the process, so let's get to it. I start with clear casting resin and mix in amber coloring. I split the resin into two parts and add the catalyst to harden the first half. I did use a bit too much dye since it can be hard to tell how the final color is going to turn out. I pour the resin into a high density polyethylene mold that I made. Once the resin is mostly hard but still sticky, I add the insect. I'm using a large crane fly that I caught in my yard, which is the same insect used in Jurassic Park. It looks like a giant mosquito, but it's technically a fly. Then I add catalyst to the other half of the resin, mix it, and pour it into the mold. Once the resin hardens, I remove the blank and take it to the lathe. I glue the blank to a scrap piece of wood to hold it into the lathe while I work. Once the glue dries, I begin by roughing the square blank down into a cylinder. Once the blank is round, I start to cut in the egg shape. The plastic makes thin white shavings that look kind of like pasta or cheese, but they taste really bad. I have to stop often to clear them off of the equipment so that I can see what I'm doing. Once the egg is mostly formed, I remove the tailstock and shape the tip of the egg. Once the shape is done, I thin down the point where it connects to the scrap wood so that I can touch up the base. I start sanding at 100 grit and work my way up to 1200. I sand with wet sandpaper after 220 grit to help clear the dust off. Then I use micro mesh sanding pads up to 12,000 grit. Then I buff with triple E abrasive compound. Once the polishing is done, I use a parting tool and a saw to remove the egg from the scrap block.
I sand the rough bottom of the egg on a belt sander so that it will sit flat on a desk or a table. The last thing I do is buff the entire egg with Tripoli compound to make sure there are no visible scratches or tool marks. And there you have it, a homemade fossil, just like the movies. I hope you enjoyed seeing this process. Please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos.